Hey guys, Mason and Cardinal. How's everybody doing? Uh, happy Thanksgiving, all the Americans here. Uh, it is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Uh, Black Friday coming up, right? Big day for uh, retail stores. And uh, let's see what product I got to uh, sell for uh, Pokemon. Let me see. Uh, by the way, I'm doing this because I know a lot of you guys said this was a green screen or something. Uh, I wish it looked as good as it, as it used to, but uh, no, it's uh, looking pretty pretty bad right now. Not a lot going on. Uh, but yeah, that's what, uh, this is what I got. I got some Darkness Ablaze, a Guardians Rising box, uh, an open Sword and Shield, no other box behind that, and a good old Rebel Clash. So, uh, that's what I got. That's what I got going into uh, Black Friday for Pokemon Sealed. Uh, and I know people are going to be freaking out and going, Mason, Walmart and Target has product. Why don't you have product? What do you mean that there's not product available? Let me tell you guys a story about MJ Holding, the largest distributor of cards in this country. Uh, they pretty much service uh, all the Walmarts, Targets, big box stores, all those guys. Um, I know some of you guys probably know this from other videos. People have been talking about it for a long time about uh how you know that stuff isn't stocked by walmart and target themselves a contractor comes in from mj holdings and uh, stocks all the shelves for stuff uh mj holdings is again a distributor gets stuff directly from pokemon they get all that they put in a big warehouse uh that's outside chicago and then they service the seven thousand uh, walmarts and targets around the country and other stores I i'm sure they do other stores as well uh and they Basically, fill that stuff by themselves. Uh, we had recollection of a product stock of uh, Unbroken Bonds. Um, that apparently is stuff that was only going to MJ Holdings because the only people that have those three box, the three pack box that you probably see at the Walmart's and Targets right now, uh, I as a retail store can't get that. I get blisters. Um, that's the only thing that I have access to. So. MJ Holdings is the only people that got the Unbroken Bonds reprint, apparently. Um, I got news uh, just this week from my distributor, my main guys that I go through, uh, that Unified Minds is guaranteed restock. It's a pending restock uh, later in December, it looks like. Let me get the exact date they're spitting out. Uh, oh, Unbroken Bonds does not have a date. Um, the other set that is coming out, Darkness Ablaze, uh, that is in the middle of December. So, for sealed product, that's all I got. There is no talk of restock or um, pre-release numbers, pre-release, uh, re-release numbers for a set like Viva Voltage. Has no uh, information on that. And uh, I just checked this morning. I actually got my numbers back for the Champion's Path and the Hidden Fates ETBs that are coming out. It's supposed to be towards the end of the year, right? Uh, I think I got 10%. Of what I asked for, for Hidden Fates. And it's still a very large number, much more larger than I thought I was going to get. Um, I thought maybe if I got 20, I'd be lucky. Uh, I, you know, numbers are looking actually pretty solid on that. Um, again, uh, this is through my main distributor, and I spend a lot of money for Pokemon specifically. And with that distributor alone. So, we always get favored over other places that maybe don't uh, go through them all the time, or maybe use several distributors, and they kind of divvy up their, their money to multiple uh, places. But I actually was very surprised at what I got for Hidden Fates. That's a very, very good number, so I'm happy with that. Uh, Champion's Path is about half of what I asked for, a little more than half. Um, actually, it's probably closer to two-thirds, if I really think about it. But regardless, um, a very healthy restock on that as well. Those numbers are locked in. Those are... Uh, very good numbers. So uh, that's going to be a big boom, but it's going to be uh, still a ways off. You know, we got a month to go till that stuff is uh, supposed to be released. And of course, that's going to always be delayed and stuff like that. Just like the ultra premium boxes that were delayed. Uh, if you ordered from an LGS, apparently, if you go to Walmart and Target, uh, they have them and other places have them. So that means that uh, MJ Holdings has them and other distributors that service LGSs and other companies, I do not. So we were told 
from the buyer that Pokemon was still assembling them and that they had no ETA on when they'd be distributed. Whenever they get them in, is when I'm going to get them in and then I'm going to... I have pre-orders on the website that people pre-ordered and, and I can't get them the product because I don't have it to give them. But they can go into a Walmart and Target and maybe see them on the shelves. That is very upsetting for me because that is... Uh, when I'm told that they're just not out yet, they've been delayed, but I see that other people have them and clearly other uh, outlets are able to get them, that's upsetting to me. That uh, makes it rough. Because it puts me in a hard spot because I have to explain to the people I pre-ordered, hey, I'm sorry, uh, I don't have your stuff, uh, but apparently Walmart and Target's do. So it's frustrating in that regard because, uh, you know, I... The more and more as we go through and deal with this kind of stuff and as the market does what it does and the demand being what it is, uh, you should really start to see the kind of favoritism that a lot of places, uh, you know, the big boys are getting. Like, you like your MJ holding. Uh, you know, they clearly get stuff that is, you know, I, as a small fry, don't get. Or my, even my distributor, which is a, is a large distributor, one of the largest in the country that I go through. Um, they even can't get product at the same rate that uh, MJ Holdings does. So, that's frustrating, uh, and it sucks because, you know, I want that stuff for Black Friday and to uh, sell that stuff for Black Friday. And at this rate, uh, I will be lucky if I get it a week or so before uh, Christmas. So that kind of puts it in a, in a hard spot. So that's the latest on sealed product and what we got going on the pipe. That's it. That's all we have. That's all the numbers that I've heard. Um, as you see on my shelf, I, I, have, I have nothing. Uh, even... The boxes I have uh, are boxes I've had for a while and are not particularly sought after. So it's, uh, it's rough. It's rough out here for people that are trying to sell Pokemon. And it's just, uh, it's very frustrating to see. That's not always the case for other stuff and other people. Um, but like I said, uh, especially with the Walmarts and Targets of the world out there. Um, they have a company that pretty much distributes just through them. And uh, really, it's kind of a, it's a shady way that they do it because what they do is uh, they do a pay-per-scan system. So the contractor goes in and puts the stuff on the shelf at your Walmart, per se. Let's say Walmart. And they're putting the stuff on the shelf. And then whenever you go and pick up the item and scan it out, that's when Walmart gets their percentage uh, of stuff. That's why when people rip off man, steel packs and you know resale boxes and and return them to walmart and target they don't care they don't care because they don't it's not their product they don't they don't even really lose anything because the person that maybe even bought that they already got their percentage so yeah they don't they don't care uh that things like that get returned because they got their money so it's uh it's really no issue for them but, uh, so yeah, that's the kind of stuff that we see, uh, the favoritism that's happening uh, for big box stores and, and MJ Holding in particular. Um, and I can I can go over more about MJ Holding and the other silly things that they um, are able to do. Uh, they basically have a monopoly on pretty much all card product, uh, even Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic in those big box stores. Uh, they have sports that they do uh, that they pretty much uh, have a... a a monopoly on and uh you know being a distributor they don't care what the prices are they don't care what they're being sold at because they're just going to make their margins and they're going to go on to the next thing because they have products coming down the pipe that they need to you know keep rolling so think about you know me selling as a store at retail retail you know the price that things are going for versus msrp which is what they care about and what they follow uh, that's all they care about is that they just want to hit those numbers and they don't want to care about what everybody else is selling their stuff for. So that is very distributor level thinking and it makes the rest of us kind of look silly when we go out here and we say, yeah, the demand is really this and the price should really be this, but you know, you can go into Walmart and Target and, and buy it for this and then that creates a market for scalpers. That's how the whole situation with scalpers starts. 
and I was actually going to do like a whiteboard thing, kind of like what Rudy from Alpha Investments does, but it's, I might still do it, but it's kind of clunky to kind of explain house scalpers and why they exist and how they're able to exist in this kind of market because it's not a free market, it's a, a, a limited market. And when something gets released in very low supply and the scalpers can buy it and resell it, that's why they're called scalpers, by the way, uh, because they take all the top scalpers. You know? That's where the, the term comes from. They take it off the top. They take money off the top because you're out there willing to pay an amount and the product that's being pumped into the market isn't supplying that demand. It's supplying scalpers with product to then supply demand instead of going, you know, every product that I sell at the price that the market is dictating uh, goes to a person that genuinely wants it. So I'm filling supply and meeting the demand. Everybody I sell to is one demand met, right? Whereas they just blow out to the first two people that get there before, you know, they, uh, after they restock and, you know, that secondary market is allowed to exist in sealed product, which can lead to all sort of shenanigans and scams and things like that. So, um, that's the kind of market that we're in right now. That's what we're looking at towards the end of the year. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a good place to be in, uh, if you're looking for sealed Pokemon, just cause it's not out there. Uh, and, you know, I, I said in my video a while back, uh, you know, I went a year back without having product for that. And now I'm now I'm back almost two years, uh, if you don't count Rubble Clash. Why doesn't anybody like Rubble Clash? I know it's a kind of a dumpy set, but I still got that. And I can still get it from distributors. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah. Other than that, guys, uh, that is what we're looking at towards the end of the year for supply. So, it is what it is. And uh, we got what we got, unfortunately, right now. So, it's going to be really interesting going into this next month before, um, you know, those ETVs and the Pokemon, uh, Unbroken Bonds and the, not Unbroken Bonds, Unified Minds and Darkness of Blaze hits. But, uh, we'll see how it goes and, uh, we'll see how much supply there is and if the market's still there, you know, it, it's kind of a, an interesting thing with, if there's just simply no supply, the market just chalks it up for a loss sometimes. They just, you know, move elsewhere and, you know, when these kind of hype trends happen, that's what people tend to do. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Um, you know, uh, I wish I had uh, stuff to tell you guys. Oh, hey, uh, website's going to have a lot of cool stuff for Black Friday and uh, Cyber Monday. But um, I got I got double boxes. I got those. I got some, uh, you know, some of those over there. I got the Zacian V uh, uh, League Battle decks. But uh, that's, really, that's really all we got, guys. Um, anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know. A product update on what's going on and uh i'm gonna leave it at that um like i said uh to us americans happy thanksgiving to you guys and uh we'll see you on the next one huh